Now, one of the, uh, my uh, followers have asked me if I could present something related to translating from Arabic into English. Of course, it's more challenging for Arabic-speaking uh, translators, uh, basically because of the vocabulary. Um, you won't have enough vocabulary in your head. Uh, and because of, <clears throat> you need to have a good background about the area. So what I have done is just I went to uh, uh, this website of uh, one of the newspapers and I've chosen the first uh, uh, story which I would like to show you how I will actually think of translating uh, this story, the first story. Now this story is about Barnamaj um, uh, al uh, this is the title of the story, and this is where the story is, and it's from a newspaper, Arabic newspaper. Now, what I, I do is I will go for copying and pasting it into a Word document. So what I will do is I will go for a Word document and copy and paste the whole thing. So what I do is copy and paste, copy them, and then go to a word and paste them. And this is where they are. Now here, of course, let me just um, make it a bit bigger so that you can see what is. You need to look at some of the words that are used in this, uh, in this story. Words like Qarar and Barnamaj here. I mean, this is we talk about. قرار وبرنامج الأغذية العالمي المساعدات الغذائية العامة السلطات صنعاء السلطات المحلية الموارد المتاحة بيان صحفي الجهات المانحة مخزون الغذاء All of these words Of course for the word قرار for example Which one I should choose Of course if it's UN decision From the UN Then we'd say resolution But of course this is not This is the program which is taking a decision according to the story. So we cannot go for uh, resolution. We have to go for decision. Uh, of course, the decision, uh, uh, this is, uh, then you have Barnamaj al Aqdi al Alami. You need to know what is the equivalent in English. Of course, it's, it, it's in Arabic. It can be some uh, I, I, you need to go to a website uh, in the UN and see Barnamaj al Aqdi al Alami. You will find that in the search, Barnamaj al Aqdi al Alami. But then um, in another place in the UN website, it says Barnamaj al Ghida al Alami. وهو طبعا برنامج الغذاء العالمي it's well known برنامج الغذاء العالمي and not برنامج الأغذية so part of the uh, story that I have chosen is actually partly translated really because برنامج الأغذية العالمي ولا برنامج الغذاء العالمي التابع للأمم المتحدة um, this is one thing uh, the, the title I will not go for the title to translate it yet because the title, translation of the title is the last thing to do. So, أعلن برنامج الأغذية العالمي في اليمن عن قراره بإيقاف برنامج المساعدات الغذائية العامة. This is one of the phrases that you need to think of في المناطق التي تخضع لسلطات صنعاء. يعود هذا القرار إلى محدودية التمويل وعدم التوصل إلى اتفاق مع السلطات المحلية لتنفيذ برنامج أصغر يتناسب مع الموارد مع الموارد المتاحة للأسر الأكثر ضعفا واحتياجا. وأوضح البرنامج في بيان صحفي يقول صحفي أن هذا القرار صعب الصعب تم اتخاذه بتشاور مع الجهات المانحة بعد مفاوضات استمرت لمدة تقرب لمدة تقرب عن من عام ولم يتم خلالها التوصل إلى اتفاق يسمح بتقليص عدد المستفيدين من المساعدات الغذائية المباشرة المباشرة من 9.5 مليون إلى 6.5 مليون شخص وأشار البرنامج إلى أن مخزون الغذاء في المناطق التي تخضع لسلطات الصناعة يقترب من النفاذ تماما وقد يستغرق استئنافه 
توزيع المساعدات الغذائية ما يقرب من أربعة أشهر حتى في حالة التوصل إلى اتفاق فوري مع السلطات بسبب انقطاع سلسلة الإمدادات أو الإمداد للمساعدات الغذائية الإنسانية وأكد البرنامج أنه سيواصل تنفيذ برامجه المتعلقة بتعزيز القدرة على الصمود وسبل العيش والتغذية وتوفير وجبات مدرسية بهدف التخفيف من تأثير التوقف المؤقت لتوزيع الأغذية ومن أجل ذلك يتطلب الأمر توفر توفر التمويل اللازم وتعاون السلطات المحلية في صنعاء وسيستمر توزيع المساعدات الغذائية العامة في المناطق التي تخضع لسيطرة الحكومة مع التركيز على الأسر الأكثر ضعفا أكثر ضعفا واحتياجا وذلك وفقا للتغيرات التي تغيرات التي تم الإعلان عنها في أغسطس الماضي وعرب البرنامج هذه آخر فقرة عن استمراره في العمل لتحقيق تقدم في المفاوضات مع السلطات المحلية في صنعاء بهدف استهداف استئناف المساعدات الغذائية في المناطق المتأثرة في أقرب وقت ممكن. Of course, this kind of text requires first to see the difficult words and highlight them. And I have highlighted some of them for you just to save time. That's all. Highlighted few words. مخزون الغذاء. الغذاء لازم نعرف. We have to know what مخزون مخزون الغذاء would mean. قرار برنامج الأغذية العالمي أو الغذاء العالمي مساعدة الغذائية العامة سلطات الصناعة السلطات المحلية الموارد المتاحة بيان صحفي الجهات المانحة مخزون الغذاء. So all of these needs to be Uh, you need to think of what's their equivalent. Of course, you use a good dictionary to help you with this. But now, in order to make it easier for, for you, I have showed you, I'll show you above how I found few words. Like, for example, you need to have words like food stock. For example, food stock will be important. Warehouses, perhaps. WFP which is برنامج الغذية العالمي World Food Organ- uh, Pro- Program صنع authorities, local authorities limitation of funding supply chain, reaching an agreement negotiations food aid in consultation with بالتشاور مع donating parties ال- الجهات المانحة food stock مخزون الماء المخزون الغذاء resumption of distribution استئناف التوزيع and press statement هو بيان صحفي صحفي now of course if I look at the Arabic and I can give you now a very quick translation of it yeah, on the on the, you know impromptu like without preparing I would say world food program in, in Yemen has announced its decision to stop uh, the general, uh, its, its program of general uh, food aid, we don't say AIDS, because we don't confuse it with uh, the illness, food aid program. So, announced uh, its decision to stop the program of general uh, food aid in the areas in the areas that are under the control of Sana'a authorities. This decision is based on the limitation of funding and not reaching and being unable to reach an agreement with the local authorities to implement a smaller program that matches or that uh, at, um, is appropriate for the الموارد um, المتاحة available resources for for uh, a weaker or much weaker families uh, or needy uh, uh, much needed or, or, or the needy families if you like So, weak and needy families. The program explained in a press release that this difficult decision, 
was taken in consultation with donating parties or the party of donors, parties, a party of donors or the donors following negotiations that lasted for almost a year and no agreement was reached during that period that allows that agreement that would allow reduction of those who benefit from direct food aid from 9.5 million, 9.5 million, to 6.5 million uh, people. The program indicated that the food stock in the areas that are under the control of Sana'a authorities is almost, is almost, has almost run out. And the resumption of distribution of food aid would last about four months. Would last about four months. <clears throat> Even when they reach, when when they reach um, an immediate agreement with the authorities, and that is because of the cut or the the cut in the supply chain of the humanitarian food aid. The program affirmed that it would re it. It will continue to implement its programs that are related to uh, enabling the people to uh, to uh, uh, a smooth steadfastness or to uh, solid uh, to to enable them and to give them the ability to have. Uh, life, lifestyle ways, perhaps, and nutrition, and to provide school meals with the aim of reducing the impact of the temporary cessation of uh, the distribution of food or food distribution. For that, it requires necessary, uh, the provision of necessary funding and the cooperation of the local authorities in Sana'a. The distribution of the general food aid will continue in the areas that are under the control of the government with a focus on the much needed, uh, for, for, for the weaker um, families or the weaker families who are in need of this. And that is based on the changes that's been announced last August. And the program has expressed its intention to continue its work in order to achieve some progress in the negotiations with the local authorities in Sana'a with the aim of resuming food aid in the areas that are most affected as, as soon as possible. I think I have actually given you an idea now, of course, I have given you some sort of inter interpretation, really, more than translation here, but that gives you an idea of how you need to think of, this is, can be called also uh, site translation, really, because I am 
doing it as, as, as I read text and I am translating it. I hope that you've learned something from translating into English and what are the resources that you need to look at when you are coming across any text of this similar of, of, of this type that you need to go back to the source and know if it is a UN program then you go back to the UN website trying to see how they translate the word WFP which is Barnamaj al Alami. but here of course in the Arabic as we have seen in the story that I looked at uh, for you that it is actually uh, it shows you that this story here can be translated it requires you to prepare all these various um, uh, words and terms in order to be able to translate it properly so first prepare some of the terminology before you start translating something from Arabic to English especially if that terminology you're not familiar with that way you can choose words in context like the word decision instead of resolution قرار الحاكم for example if you are in a, in a, in a, in a court قرار هناك sentenced the sentence that's been um, announced by the judge that's a completely different so that's how we that's how you will do this kind of thing by trying to cut it or, or trying to cut and paste it uh, highlight some of the difficult expressions find some of their equivalents if you can from a good dictionary go to the sources these are the words that are that I found which I thought will be useful to take them out and research them first to know their equivalent straight away before you can start doing the translation have a nice day